Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's video will be how to encapsulate glitter and it is this here. I'll be using Magpie Beauty Gel Colour in Mona Lisa as my base. This client has hard gel overlays but as you can see a couple of them have been extended because she may have broken them. So going in with one layer of Mona Lisa on every single nail and what I'll be doing is I'll be leaving this gel uncured because I will be sprinkling the glitter into it and then curing after to really make it hold. So when I encapsulate glitters I sometimes like to burnish glitters. It kind of depends on the glitter finish you're using. This glitter I'm using is a metallic finish so I feel like sprinkling gives the best effect depending on what effect you want of course. Um, the glitter that's on my nails is Magpie Beauty Glitter in Scarlet, which is a holographic. So I burnished that on to really make that holographic shine and sparkle and did two top coats. Whereas with this, this is a, here you go, you can see it's Magpie Glitter Ruby. It's a metallic glitter, it's beautiful. So I just felt for this set, I wanted to sprinkle and encapsulate it in a layer of gel. So I'm just using my triangle tray from Magpie Beauty to catch all of that glitter because you don't want to waste anything. And I'm literally, sorry for the weird camera angle, it's really hard to do this, <laughs> film it whilst I'm um, getting it in frame. But yeah, so literally just sprinkling that glitter over every nail, making sure from side wall to side wall is covered with the glitter. And then I'm just tapping off each individual finger, just getting rid of any excess that's not needed. Then that's going to go into the lamp for, normally you would cure magpie gels for 60 seconds, but I like to put it in for a double cure when I'm doing the sprinkling method. So that's 120 seconds. And then I'm going in with the Magpie Beauty duster brush and dusting off any excess glitter that is still on the nail. Make sure a little tip to brush around that cuticle area and on that tip of the nail on the free edge that just gets rid of any of that rough glitter and stops your top coat chipping and things like that. So I'm now going in with my gel bottle rubber top coat which is a thicker viscosity gel, it's a builder gel and I'm encapsulating the whole of that nail in this gel. And the reason why I love doing it this way is because you finish file after you've done this. So you're getting this really crisp, refined nail. Whereas sometimes I find if I was sprinkling and then I apply three top coats, it, you kind of almost lose the shape of that nail. And you've spent so much time on finish filing the nail and getting that beautiful shape. Three layers of top coat and glitter and colour gel later, you've, it's all gone, the shape's gone, it's not as perfect. So I find this way creates a really perfect shape, really beautiful. And I just love the way it magnifies that glitter underneath, like a little Christmas globe with stuff underneath. It just looks beautiful this way. You can also use Magpie gel give me strength i haven't tried it yet but i'm sure you can use it in the same way use this finish file it a little bit and then go in with your top coat so i'll just let you watch me do it on the other nails the method that i use is i start from the cuticle area i then use my brush and work it backwards and forwards down the nail as you can see here bringing it across from side to side that pulls the gel down really nicely and minimizes the amount of bubbles you get if you find that you you're getting bubbles in your gels you're probably taking your brush out of the gel the trick is to float it on and just tickle the gel down the nail rather than moving it brushing it because that will put bubbles into your gel you could also use this method when you've 
after you've burnished a glitter onto the nail but I find burnishing method your glitter lays really flat so it's not necessary two top coats and you're done and it's fine but I just find with sprinkling because it's slightly thicker you need that extra layer okay so after that's all cured this dries with a tack free finish I'm going in with a buffer and I'm just initially buffing over the whole entire surface of the nail. The beauty of the Gel Bottle Ink Builder Rubble Top Coat is it's really self leveling so you have to do hardly any filing. And then I'm just taking my normal file, filing around that free edge area, making sure I'm getting that cuticle area nice and flush. So again, around that free edge and then buffing over the surface of that nail. They don't need much finish filing. You'll find with gel products that you need less filing than acrylic, which is the beauty of it. Less time finish filing. And also another tip, if you spend a little more time on your apply application of the gel, you'll have less finish filing to do as well. But you can see I'm just checking the angles of the nail, making sure I'm happy, making sure my client is happy, that's really important. Going around those sidewall areas as well, and I keep, if you notice, feeling it with my thumb, that's a nice way. You, your eyes may not be enough sometimes, and just to feel it, you may feel those slight bumps and lumps and rough edges. So use your fingers as well to feel the nail it's always good and look from different angles and get your client to look as a second pair of eyes don't be afraid to let your client inspect your work after all it's their nails so yeah just going around making sure they're all nice and smooth sorry i'm a bit out of camera there yep and just checking my client is happy with those before i carry on i'm going in with a dust brush and getting rid of all that dust that's built up from filing around that cuticle area so I'm now gonna go in with a Moyu London plate it's the enchanted collection number 16 and that's the image that I'm going to use and then I'm gonna go in with my clear jelly stamper this is the original clear jelly stamper and the scraper going in with the clear jelly stamper stamping polish in black this is a really really pigmented black stamping polish i highly recommend this brand i need to buy loads more colors because they are beautiful to work with so i'm just taking that image off the stamping plate onto my clear jelly stamper and i'm just going over that nail all i've done is dust off that excess dust after finish filing and placing that down on the nail it looks so pretty I love this set and then I'm literally going in with my top coat now so I'm applying one layer of top coat to all of the nails that's just glitter but look how beautiful that looks and then the nail with the stamping design, I'll go in with two layers to make sure that design is really sealed in. You don't want any wearing off around the edges or anything like that. Whenever I do design work, I like to always top coat twice. Better safe than having it all wearing off. I just love putting the top coat on when it's matte like that. It reveals such a pretty shine and glitter my favourite bit and it's my client's favourite bit too. We ooh and ah all the time. <laughs> so here I'm going in with my second layer of top coat. The top coat I'm using in this tutorial is the Jellish Top It Off. Going in with my Jellish Cleanser, it takes all that excess stamping polish off around the skin as well. I'm just going in with some NSI cuticle oil, rubbing that in all around cuticle, side warm, free edge. And that's the set all done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.